Hi, I'm Erin Schrage, Roof Tats Kids Director. I'm so glad you're here for Kids Church today. Your teachers have a great lesson all ready for you. Have fun at Kids Church. Hey everybody, welcome to Big Kid Worship. My name is Miss Ariel, and I'm really excited that you are here with me today. Have you ever had a teacher that you absolutely loved? You felt like they understood you, they cared for you, they encouraged you. Teachers have a really big job and they spend lots of time preparing their lessons and especially getting to know their students so they know how to teach them. One of the best teachers was Jesus. Have you ever thought of Jesus as a teacher? Though he never gave out history tests or did fractions on a chalkboard, Jesus remains one of the greatest teachers of all time. And today we're going to find out what he taught about. But before we start exploring Jesus as a teacher, let's look at our big picture question. Over the past few weeks, we discovered why God created people. Today, we're going to introduce a new big picture question as we learn about Jesus as a teacher. Are you ready for it? Here it is. What did Jesus teach when he was on earth? This is a great question. And if we're serious about following Jesus, we need to understand his teachings. So the answer to our big picture question is, Jesus taught about God and his kingdom. He taught that scripture is about him. So as we listen to our first story on Jesus's teachings, let's listen to what he has to say about God's kingdom and the scriptures, or what the Israelites called the law. So now that we have our big picture question in place, let's look at our timeline. Remember, our timeline is really important because as we learn about Jesus, we want to know what led up to this point in his life. So far, we've seen that Jesus came to earth as a baby, both God and human, remember. He grew up in Nazareth, was baptized by John, called 12 men to be his disciples. He then began traveling around Judea and Galilee and started performing miracles and teaching other people. One of his most famous teachings is called the Sermon on the Mount. Let's watch the video and see what he taught and what we can learn from his teaching. Great crowds of people followed Jesus wherever he went. One day, Jesus went up on a mountain. He sat down and began to teach about the kingdom of God. First, Jesus taught about the blessings that come to those who follow him. He said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the humble, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Then Jesus taught how believers should live. Jesus said that believers are the light of the world. Let your light shine before others so that they may see the good things you do and choose to praise God. Then Jesus taught about God's law. Jesus did not come to get rid of the law, but to obey it perfectly. He said that to enter heaven, a person can't just look righteous on the outside like the righteous leaders. A person must be righteous on the inside too, obeying God for the right reasons. Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for them. When you give to people who are poor, give in secret. And when you pray, don't pray just so that people will hear you. Jesus taught the people how to pray. He also said, forgive others. If you forgive those who sin against you, God will forgive you too. But if you don't forgive them, God will not forgive you. Jesus said, do not collect treasures on earth. They can be destroyed or, or stolen. Collect treasures in heaven instead. For where your treasure is, that is where your heart will be also. He taught that God provides for his people. Jesus taught the people many things. When he finished teaching, 
the crowds were amazed because he taught them like one who had authority. Jesus taught people what it means to follow him. He taught how people should live, how they should treat one another, and how to love God. People who trust in Jesus live to honor God and show what his kingdom is like. Have you ever had a lesson with a teacher and they said, do as I do? That's what it means to be a follower of Jesus, to live as if he's our teacher. And here with the Sermon on the Mount, we can learn a couple of things. First, we learn about God's kingdom and how it's an upside down kingdom. Today, it seems like people who are rich and powerful rule the world. But Jesus says the kingdom belongs to those who are poor in spirit and treated wrongly for doing the right thing. He even says that they are blessed, which can also mean happy. Next, Jesus teaches us how to live in God's kingdom and how to treat others, especially our enemies or people who are mean to us, that we should love them and not hate them, and that we are a light to the world showing people what God is like. Jesus then says that he didn't come to get rid of the law. Remember that this was given to Moses and the Israelites, but he was going to obey the law perfectly. Because he did this, he is the perfect example to follow. Remember in our big picture question, the answer says that he, that he taught that the scripture was about him. So I want to leave you with a question. In your life, how are you following Jesus? Or are you? What teachings in the Sermon on the Mount stood out to you or made you think? Ask Jesus to help you live out his kingdom here. That's what great teachers are for. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Let's pray, and then we will get to this month's new worship song, Build Your Kingdom. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for helping us be um, to follow you and help us to build your kingdom here on earth. Thank you for being one of the best teachers we could ever have. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful day and enjoy the song. Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again. Increase in us, we pray. Unveil why we're made. Come set our hearts ablaze with hope like wildfire in our very souls. Holy Spirit, come invade us now. Your church, we need your power in us. We seek your kingdom first, we hunger and we thirst, refuse to waste our lives for your our joy and prize to see the captive hearts released, the hurt, the sick, the poor.
darkness clear Show your mighty hand Heal our streets and